Morning. It's all the beautiful birds. I've only been up for maybe 15 minutes and I heard all the birds out here. It's so beautiful. Rosie's been running around like a wild woman. Look at her, she's down there by this tree thinking she's gonna get some more, um, she's gonna get some more birds and bows. She's gonna get some bows in the ground, what she thinks she's going to get. Yeah. Oh, there's a squirrel in there. She would love to get that squirrel. Good morning from South Boston. Oh no, from Boston. You got rain here in Boston, Boston, Massachusetts. Good morning. I've never seen Rosie run after a squirrel. Uh, good morning, Mickey, honey. I'll get up from here. Oh, I can't wait till all the trees. Um... Oh, that's really pretty wherever that bird's at. Oh, there it is in the tree. When all the trees get their leaves, you start budding, it's gonna be really pretty. Yeah. That's okay, the trees are still pretty without their leaves too. They are. The trees are still pretty without their leaves. Um, I need to take this thing down since this thing has not been used probably 15 years. Yeah, hello, they're, they're beautiful. They sound so beautiful. When, when the first shutdown occurred or something happened and there was like a, some kind of a shutdown I remember there was no traffic on the road. It was so quiet. And I thought, oh wow, this is so nice because you know what all you could really hear was all the wildlife. It sounded really good when the first shutdown occurred. That was the only good thing about that day. I remember it happened for several days. Coffee, yes, I got my coffee. Um, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. I woke up on the right side of the bed this morning. <laughs> I didn't get up on the wrong side, which I, I rarely ever, but it's good to write, feel like you, hey, I woke up on the right side of the bed. I haven't drank in this cup for a long time. Because when it's like cold, I have to use it. Well, I don't have to. I use a different cup that's thicker, a blue cup, but now it's like warmer out, so I can wear, I can use a thinner cup. My cup of runneth over. Yeah. Oh, you noticed that too about the quiet? It was pleasant, Debbie. Shalom, Scott. Um, like I hear the, well, you, you might be able to hear the cars too. Yeah, it's, good morning, birds. There's beautiful birds out there. Although the, the cars try to drown them out. You would think of that um, if you lived in a simulation, how they could simulate the sound of the birds and the birds themselves to make it sound so natural and feel so natural. Do you think truly there's something to those holodecks on the Star Trek Enterprise? What if there really is something to it? Well, there's bound to be something to it. It's the technology that's out there. Because they were holding those tablets. They were holding those tablets in their hand, the doctor, when the people would go into the whatever, the doctor's place on the ship. They had their tablets. 
And we have the tablets now. Oh, there's a black bird. It's going to try to make some noise. Oh no, it's a, it's a red winged blackbird. That's the state bird of Ma uh, Maryland, red winged blackbird. Oh, Rosie's still down there. She has been so happy walking around. Oh, you're sick? Oh, it's called Sick Bay. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were saying uh, you're, it's, it's a sick day. Yeah, it's called Sick Bay. It is the Sick Bay. Yeah. Look into Jesus, the founder and the protector, perfecter of our faith, who, um, for the joy set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of God. Yeah, sick bay. You all, the birds sound really pretty. We're supposed to get some rain. So um, I got the onion sets in in time. And the um, whatever type of, I forget the name of the, the daikon radishes that I got. But they're going to be really big radishes. She just sits there so, um, she sits there so calm. We'd like to walk down to Rosie, honey, is what I would like to do. Walk down there to Rosie, but I'm not walking in my socks because I'll get mud on my feet because the ground is some um, muddy. Y'all see that dance video last night? It's been nine days since we had done a dance. I made myself do it. I wasn't in too of a dancing mood because I thought, oh, it's so hot up here. It's hot up there. I had to put the air conditioning in. Yeah, hello, good morning. Um, Brigida. Um, respect the family. <clears throat> Let me shrink this down. Let's hope this thing don't get stuck. Let's see that rosy honey. See, it looks so far away. Rosy honey, I'm not going to get you, baby, because you're a little baby. I know you're being a good girl. She is. She's just fascinated with that squirrel. Ah. Uh, yeah, when the, the leaves start getting on the tree. That's really nice. Is, is this zoomed up on me? Gina, you're in your pajamas. Only in half of pajamas. I just sleep in them. Besides, people go to town in their pajamas. They do. They walk on the streets in their pajamas. I need to clean up. I got a, a pal that I need to take to the, the land field, some junk. Probably need to clean out my fire pit. I haven't had a fire in a while. I need to clean this out right here. This is dirty. I don't think the birds, I don't want to really touch that. I don't think the birds would be able to eat, drink some water out of here with it. Hey, Rosie, honey, what you doing? You seeing what I'm doing? Try to clean out these with these roses. Sorry, Rosie, honey, you cannot drink out of this water, Rosie. Okay, honey, you're not going to do it. I don't, this is not good for you, Rosie. Really, this is really good view of you with this. Uh, no, 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 don't you drink out of this, Rosie. It's not good, honey. Maybe I should have left it there so you can't drink out of it. I need another rose. Rose is a, oh, Miss Love is a rose, but you better not pick it. It only grows when it's on the fine. A handful of thorns, and you know you missed it. You lose your love when you say the word mine. Is how the story goes. You lose your love when you say the word mine. You know, what are you talking about? The birds, and you're talking about roses? I really hope she don't come in. There could be something in this water that Rosie would not like. Yeah. This is where, um, under here is where our, our first 
bunny, our, our bunny that we brought back from Hawaii, lives under there. Well, its, it's body's under there, what its remains, and our kitty. And um, uh, another cat that we didn't have. Um, well, we got her from the Humane Society or whatever. But she had passed away. Just um, I put her her name on it, and she went under there because they didn't give her give us back her under there. Gina, you talking about the birds? I am. Look at the lines in the look, look like, like kind of like a row clouds forming. I gotta fix this, you all. Rosie, I really don't want you drinking that water. I don't. It's like don't drink the water, Rosie. There may come a day where you can't drink the water. Well, some water you don't want to drink. Yeah. Yeah. Look, that that cloud just rolled right on in. They uh, they did a divide in the sky. Um. Oh, thanks, Mickey. Rosie and the bird. Yeah. The wind chimes. I don't know what that comment was supposed to mean. Have no idea. If you're just tuning in, it's the birds. Oh, she's going over there. Rosie, honey, I'm gonna have to empty. Don't, what is she doing here? She likes that, the statues is what Rosie likes. Okay, Rosie, honey, you don't need to drink that water. Don't drink that water, Rosie. Do not drink the water. Yeah. Oh, she sees the, uh, there's a, na a neighbor walking around over there and she can see them too. Which one is chiming? The birds are really getting active now. Good morning, Raquel. There's, there's peace like a river. There's peace like a river when there's um, love. There really is. I am gonna be going. That looks really cool, doesn't it? It's like an atmospheric river up there, an atmospheric stream. Yeah, it's an early rise. Sky yellow. You got a yellow blue sky? Oh. Oh. Oh, then you, there's another song, Love is Alive, and it's here by me. You know that song by Wyona Judd? Love is alive in a breakfast table, love every day of the week. Love is alive and it grows every day and I even in my sleep. Love is alive and it's made a happy woman out of me. Oh, love is alive and it's here by me. You don't hear, I don't think you hear very many songs nowadays, whether they be Christian. I mean, you can hear Christian, whether they be um, country, um, rock, or any of that. You used to hear a lot of songs about love, if you think about it. And now there's hardly any. If there is, maybe there might be, and I just don't hear them because I don't listen to them. Yeah. Raquel, it was the bird song during your morning prayer. Ah, It was delightful. Uh, yeah. You got some buffering going on. They like to buffer me because they got to create a frequency buffer. That's why they buffer. They create frequency buffers on their end to try to keep the frequency from coming through. If you have are experiencing that, they like to do their frequency buffers. I think that's a great, a great way to explain it. Frequency buffers. So they can kind of keep the good frequency from flowing in. How about that? Yeah, it's a happy Tuesday. Uh, spiritual war goes back to the Knights Templar, Stacy Lynn, honey. I read somewhere 
that um, what was like Knights of the Round Table, someone equated the the 200 or whatever fallen angels or something with the Knights of the Round Table too. How that's really kind of what it was also. I, I don't know, there's so much, um, there's so much um, rehashing of history and stuff. It's hard to tell what's going on. It is you all. Um, yeah. Your love songs. Oh, love songs. Love songs. There's another one. What is that? Bring it on. Bring it a love song. So go ahead. Sing along. I don't know. Love songs. They boom. Dun 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 dun. Da da dun. Da da dun. Da 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 dun dun. I don't know the words to that. I don't. I don't. Yeah. It's a happy grand rising. Yeah. It's a happy grand rising and those the birds are singing, so we gotta sing too. <laughs> the birds are singing, so we gotta sing. Mm-hmm. Singing and dancing. You can sing and dance. Singing and dancing. I might love. I'm gonna let the light shine on it. Let's see if it illuminates it. It does. Look at that. I can have it right here and I can't see it because it's in the shadow. But when that light shines on it, boom! Even though there's dirt, that dirt is not on this. It's a side of it. Look at that. It's not even attached to it. It's on the side of it. Can't see the love unless the light is shining. The light illuminates it. But when it's in the dark, it's kind of not so hard to see when it's in the shadow. But the more the light, the more you can see it. The more the light you let into your heart, the more the love will shine. That's how it will be. Yeah. You let that love shine. You let that light shine. You say, well, I, I can't see the love. Well, I can't see it either because it's, I really can barely, I can't even see it unless I, I have to zoom up really close to even see if I can see it. Because there's not enough light shining on that cup. But I can see it now. I can see it now. There's your spiritual visual right there. Yeah. We're going to sing that song. Love is alive at a breakfast table. Love every day of the week. Love is alive and it grows every day and night, even in my sleep. Love is alive and it's made a happy woman out of me. Oh, love is alive. And right there. It's, it's, it's morning time so we can sing at the breakfast table and stuff. Right there. Um... Yeah, good morning. We got the birds singing, so we have to sing. We have to sing, too, and the sun is shining really bright. Look how that sun literally is shining on that cup of love. Boom. I wish I had another one. When I found this in the thrift store years ago, there was only one of them. Yeah, just one. That sun feels really warm, too. Look how the atmospheric um, stream kind of disappeared up there. Yeah. It's like that song, Love, Love Me Do. I'll always be true. So please love me do. Or love me true, something like that. I don't know the words of that song that pop in my mind. You all, we, we, what if our mind is a computer? Our mind very well could be a computer. Well, that's how come they, they're trying to um, replicate the human brain is what they're trying to do, replicate it because the human brain is so powerful and we only use a certain amount of it. 
So if they can replicate it and duplicate it, yeah. Love, love me do. Yeah. Thought the Insteria. You all, what if we all could be hearing each other sing at the same time? <laughs> That'd be pretty nice, wouldn't it? It really would. <laughs> different tones of voices, different singing, and different songs. That would be really wild. Somebody say, I'm getting out of this place. I know, now I know that this, this community has done lost it. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's the Beatles. Okay, I can fix this person. I fixed this person. Okay, yeah, I fixed them. Gina, honey, did it. I did do it. I fixed that person. And the wind chimes have chimed. You're not, you're not going to come on here and say that this is dangerous. Our dangerous live stream, dangerous person. I fixed you. Yeah. We can do it. We are a um, spiritual community, first and foremost. And we're in this human body. We got souls in this human body and our souls are pure energy, pure energy, good energy. Yeah, look at that wind chimes. We truly do got to grow stronger within our being, you all. We got to get spiritually stronger. If you, you got to go inside. You got to. Yes, you got to. It's a necessity. We need to go inside and become as strong as we can for what's coming and what's already here. We got to be able to stand our ground spiritually and we can't be wavering. Here comes the rain. The rain's coming now. Can you hear the rain? Now comes the rain. I don't know if you can hear it. Bucks. Buck. Buckle. Oh. Buck ups. Butterfly. Buckle ups. Butterfly. Oh. Bucker up. Buttle, buckle. That's a tongue twister for me this morning. The buckle ups buttercups yeah you got to put on the armor yeah the rain's coming it's a gentle gentle cleansing rain it's a little bit of a sprinkle you may not be able to see it i don't know if you can hear it if you be quiet gina we can hear it can you hear it can you hear that rain on here hello there frank honey Hello. Uh, love in, you love Germany. Um, I used to know what I loved you was in Germany. Something that ich liebe, like libra, 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 libra. Um, ich can't remember how you say it. I don't know. Yeah. Love. Oh, you love showers and the birds and from Texas on time. Yeah. Laurel Ann. Look, that's my dad's wind chime right there. I put my dad's wind chime right here because my dad, when he was still with me, he stood right here in this spot. And there was tree, there was leaves all over the tree up there. And I remember him standing here pointing. He goes, look at that, not a single leaf moving up there. He said, not one single leaf is moving. So I've hung his wind chime right there. And this is my Auntie Kathleen. 
Um, Ik liebe dich, Judy. Yeah. That, the wind chimes are beautiful. They are. Oh, for those who want to know where these wind chimes came from, there is a, there's a tag on them. Um, Corinthian bells. This one, that's the Corinthian bells. Let me see where this other ones came from. They may all came from the same place. Yeah, they did. They came from the same place. They're tuned really well. You gotta check them to make sure there's no hornet's nest or anything that gets into them when the summer gets here. No mud daubers making holes in them because it's going to affect their, um, their, um, Music, that one's chiming too, because that one wants to be looked into. Yeah, um, they're all, it's where I got them. I've got to do something, I've got to spray to um, sand this down and spray it to its original color. Oopsie. That's where you get the wind chimes. From that place. Q17? Was there a Q one there? Let me look at that. QM, is it Q or is it OMT? I don't know what it is. I used to love writing in, uh, in calligraphy. QMT. I still have my pen and nibs. I guess it is a Q. Remember, um, Rosie, honey, is that you down there? You look like a little girl. You like that rain on you, honey? You want me to hold you, Rosie. Come on. You're a baby. You want me to hold you. I can put you in the house, Rosie. After I hold you. You want to say hi, Rosie? Look at her. She wants to say hi, Rosie. Look, honey. Look, can you look in the thing? I don't want to look. She wants to go in the house. Look at her. She wants to go in. She's happy. You want to go in, Rosie, honey? She wants to go in. She's going to be a happy girl. Okay, Rosie. You got my foot. That's my, that's me. Okay, go, Rosie. Get in the house, because you're a baby. <laughs> what was I saying? I was trying to say something before Rosie came along, and I think it was important. Okay, I remember now. It's about the queue. When we did several videos on this YouTube channel, this has been a few years back, the NIHM, you know, the secret of NIM, the movie, the cartoon movie, the secret of NIM with the rats underground and stuff like that. And they were stealing the electricity and things. Okay, the NIMH or NIHM said that they were talking about Star Trek and other life forms. And um, they mentioned the Q. They, they specifically mentioned Q. And there was something else that they mentioned that they would have to reclassify life. What was that other thing that they mentioned? Because it was Q and something, it was, surely it wasn't a super, the, the super massive black hole. I mean, it, it could have been. I can't remember. Do y'all remember which one it was? Yes. Oh, why QMT wind chimes is now. Is it really, Jessica? It's wind river chimes? I don't know. 
I don't know why it's Wind River Chimes. I really am wondering um, now about that video. It talked about... Oh, I know what it was. It was the it was the um, it was the black cloud. Remember the black cloud? The black cloud. I think they it, was it Ed Voiles who wrote about the black cloud. Remember that? The I think it was Ed Voiles. Can somebody remember that? Ed Voiles and the black cloud. They did a book about it. I could be off on one of the words or whatever. They said they would have to uh, reclassify life. They, first they said if, and they couldn't really turn it down. It was the black cloud, and we got it. Listen, you know how you had to upload everything to the cloud? And it's not a cloud in the sky that we can see. We cannot see the cloud. They said, put your things to the eye cloud. Look at the rays of sun, sun rays coming out of that. Look at the band. You know how they said um, you, you have to upload everything to the cloud, but we can't see a physical cloud in the sky. What if this cloud is the black cloud? It was a super intelligent black cloud. Um, the cubes are replicators. Um, yeah. Oh. Maybe the cubes are up there and they go around and gather the information and they send it, they take it back to the cloud. Uh, is what it is. We're gonna have to do another video on the black cloud. We really are and the NIMH and the Star Trek thing. I'm gonna have to find that, um, the link and do it again because I think it's very pertinent to what's going on in the world. Look at the rays coming from it. Um, Solus ones in the Book of Inky, um, and he argued with Enel about the AI versus making us. AI took over the matrix and the black eye grays I feel. They could be making a new earth. Well, there's gonna be some type of a new earth. I just think we still got the, the rain falling. Mm. You watched the end time production and they talked about the, um, you guess the black cloud is on the ground Really, look at the book by Ed Boyles and the Black Cloud. He was a real, there was a real scientist that were studying it. Kind of reminds me of dark matter. Kind of reminds me of these real dark, tarry looking, stringy like clouds that are up there in the sky. If you're flying in the airplane, you can see them. They're just suspended and the they can take on a different shape too. All right, I think I'm done. I'm gonna go in the house. My words are done. It's a new day. Oh, it's a new way. You're the black goo from AI. Good morning, sunshine. Thothasterian. Hello. I am still trying to up, up the game, up this game on this YouTube channel. I'm trying to get more organized, even though I get sidetracked um, to think of different ways to uh, do live streams and stuff. This is my phone that I ran over with the Jeep. <laughs> I ran over this phone with my Jeep. Let me let me flip it. It fell out of my purse when I was going somewhere, and I thought, I think something fell out of my purse, but I, I didn't see it, and I took off, and when I came home, I got out of the car, and I thought, oh, I hope I didn't run over the top of my cell phone, and I did. I ran over the top of my cell phone with the Jeep tire. By the way, before you go out, before you go out and buy brand new tires for your vehicle, you could probably get some really good used tires off the Facebook Marketplace because those tires for the Jeep, the original tires, I found on Facebook Marketplace. I only paid four dollars, four hundred dollars, and I got, or maybe three hundred fifty. I got all five tires for that Jeep, and that's been a couple years ago and they were still 90% tread lift in them. 
because I know tires are really expensive. Quantum computer is no, is no, no more bad AI. I would hope that's true. The Q, the Q, the quantum computer, there'll be no more lying. They'll be tracing everything with the Q. How are they going to like that? Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, uh, I don't like that for animals, James. The Neuralink is Shalom. And Grand Rising. Beautiful spirit. Much love and respect his real light. That's right, we got the, the real light. Even though some may call this a sun simulator, we know that there is a light. It pleases the eye to see the sun, doesn't it? That's right. I hear something. He's got a vacuum. He's got a vacuum cleaner going on in there. I don't know why he's got a vacuum cleaner going on. It's so loud. Um, we cannot live a lie. That's right. Oh, look at the rain. The water is dripping. That probably needs rinsed out. Um, there's going on Aziza. Do you feel the last, do you feel the tires? Do you feel like the tires last as long as they did before? Um, well, I would say that the tires, I haven't got, well, they only go back around three, I don't know. My tires are lasting long. And you, if you buy used tires and um, they do have a date stamp on them somehow, you got to read it. And if you go to Big O, it's a certain date, a date stamp. So they can't, um, the tires on your rims because of that. They're not able to do it. So you probably have to go to somewhere else to put the tires on your rims. So I got, you got your cup of love. You can't really see it that clear. See, because the shadow is, is still, that love is in the shadow. But when you turn this cup around and it starts facing the light, we're doing a, a visual here. It starts facing the light. You can see the love. Can you see the love? When the, when the light shines on it, you can see the love can't see it like this because it's in the shadows but the more it turns toward the light just like you the more the love shines through like that the more the love shines through Rosie honey what you doing down there you got to go looking isn't that isn't that nice the love on the inside of your heart you have love on the heart you say, well, I don't feel like I got it. I can't really feel it. Well, the more you turn toward the light, the more you and others will be able to feel and see that love because it's there. The light literally brings it out for all to see. Um, so... I'm going to go. I am going to go. Get in the house. It's been a good morning coffee with you all. I still have some in my cup because I rarely drink any of it out of here. Listen, pick your cup up. Pick your cup of love up. And we're going to toast. We're going to toast our cup of love with each other. So the symbolically with the light shining on it. And um, we're going to tip our cups, uh, touch our cups um, toward each other for a beautiful, beautiful life. Even though we're living in this world for love to fill our hearts. For God's love to fill our hearts. Yes. You tip it like that. To pick your cup up and signify it symbolically for God's love to fill all of our hearts and pierce through that darkness so we can feel it and we can see it because it's going to protect us. That's right. 
and then drink it. You just drink it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because it will, it will, it will, um, you speak it out there into existence and mean it from your heart. And it will do the rest. The love will do the rest. Okay, it will. Um, toast. Yeah. Gina, you are the silliest person. Well, that just popped into my mind. It did. Together, that's right. You can do it. Cheers to you go. That's right. Right into the light. They would rather us be to where we can't really, they would rather, the, the darkness would rather our love be in the shadows, our light, but we can't because really uh, the majority of the people are turning toward the light and that love is becoming so visible. The majority of the people are literally um, doing it. Yeah. That's okay. We, could, we gotta, that's why you gotta turn your light, you gotta, you gotta let the light shine on your love right there. Turn it. You can't hide it under a bushel. You can't hide it in the shade. You cannot. You can't hide this in the shade like that. You gotta you gotta turn it toward the light. You gotta let our light shine. It's the love. It's the love on the inside of you. I gotta go. I'm done. I'm done talking. It's been a it's been a beautiful morning with you all and the birds and Rosie. It has been really beautiful. Co-creators. Yes, I like it. There is truth to that. I do agree. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> you better be ready for the banks to close very soon. Let your light shine. Let your light shine in the darkness. Let it shine all day all night through let your light shine in the darkness let it shine for i don't even know how that goes that just popped in my mind let your light shine in the darkness hey so is that a song we can end this with a song gina did you know why that's why people don't like to come to your channel because you know you you, you have done lost it you have lost it, Gina. You on here singing songs, anything that pops in your mind, woman, you are not. You ain't got it together. I got it all together. I'm a free spirit, and I got it all together like a lot of other people. We got it all together. You all, you want to spontaneously sing, you go ahead and you spontaneously sing because there's nothing wrong with it. Let's got, you got to hold your cup. You got a cup of coffee and get into your Adidas. What's Adidas? Adita outfit. Oh, you want to go exercise? You get up out of that bed. We got to catch the comet. I'm going to catch that comet. I'm going to follow that dream wherever that dream may lead. Okay, let your light shine in the darkness. Oh, let it shine. Let your light. Uh, let your light shine for Jesus. Okay, that's what it said. Let your light shine before men. Um, give me a sign. Oh, I have to take a look at the, we're going to read this. Give me a word. Give me a sign. Show me where to look. Tell me what I will find. What will I find? Lay me on the ground and fly me in the sky. Show me where to look. Tell me what I will find. What will I find? Whoa, heaven, let your light shine down. Uh, let your light shine down. Love is in the water. Love is in the air. Show me where to look. Tell me, will love be there? Will love be there? Teach me how to speak. Teach me how to share. Teach me where to go. Tell me, will love be there? Will love be there? Heaven, let your light shine down. Give me a word. Give me a sign. Show me where to look. Tell me what I'll find. What will I find? Lay me on the ground and fly me in the sky. Show me where to look. Tell me what I will find. Whoa, heaven. I've never heard of this before. I'm going to let it shine. I'm going to let it shine. Heaven's little light going to shine on me. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. 
Heaven's little light going to shine on me. Shine, shine, shine on me. Come on and shine. Oh, I never heard of that. Yeah, in the water. I never heard that. By collective, so it's by the collective. Well, of course it would be. It's about love. So it would be a song, a collective, the collective soul, which is pure energy, spiritually speaking, would sing. It is. You got a collective is pure energy. So it would sing that. Sing about love, L-O-V-E. I, I really agree with that. I got to come out here and get my cup you off. I am not intending. We have going on an hour this morning almost. Yeah, is the baptizing, and then she's in us. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, it's a great song. I've never heard of it before. I've never seen those verses. Um, that's why we're here on the same time at uncontrollable no dark force will control us oh you love that bird song the song bird yeah the song yeah i am gonna go you all this is a great start to my day and it's a cheers to you all this is for um joining me on this front porch with my cup of coffee you still got some in it even though it's cold even though it's cold, when it goes down inside of me, it's going to be very warm. It's going to find a place on the inside of me. I haven't finished drinking. It's going to be warm as it goes down. Now it's going to be warm right there. It will no longer be cold. It will be 98.6 degrees on the inside of my body. And it won't be what it was in here because it was way below it. <laughs> I'm going to go, you all. So um, with that being said, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Love you. Have a wonderful rest of your morning. And thank you for joining me and the birds singing because they sound really beautiful. They do bring the wildlife really does bring in beauty. It does. It's spring. It's time for new life, new birth. It is. Have a um, wonderful rest of your morning. Thank you, moderator. Thank you all for your comments. You all, you're going to have a beautiful day. You are. You're going to have it. Uh, you're adorable, too. Everybody's, you got the love on the inside of you. You are very adorable. And, yeah, it's like a magnet, like a magnet. If you got it on the inside of you, you know it's a magnet. Um, yeah. A new way, that's right. Yeah. Thothisterian. I like saying that. Thothisterian. Um, infinite love tribe. Well, when it boils down to it, it's truly what's inside here. And you know it's the L-O-V-E. Um, have a wonderful rest of your morning. Thank you all. Please, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up. And thank you to everyone who has subscribed and joined. And uh, yeah, Later today, I don't know when, we're going to have to look up the in the secret of Nim thing about the Q and the Black Cloud and the Star Trek because there was some truth in it. Otherwise, they would not have put that, they would not even hypothesized about that scientific, the hypothetical Star Trek in their paper. Love you. Uh, Rainbow Tribe.